Docker containers and microservices. What is a Docker container? In this video, we're going to investigate what is Docker and how it can be used in our microservice architecture. We're going to discover the many different Docker objects, as well as the components that make up Docker. And we're going to be explaining the difference between Docker images and Docker containers. Docker is not a virtual machine technology. It is a containerization technology. Docker helps to isolate key application components into single services. Docker containers can be tailored for every stage in the development workflow. This includes your local development environment, your testing or staging environment, and of course, production. Docker containers are extremely portable and highly flexible. Docker can be scalable via Docker Swarm and Kubernetes, and Docker is cross-platform friendly, which means that you can use Mac, Windows, and Linux platforms to configure and run your Docker containers. Docker containers are not the only Docker objects that you need to be aware of. In fact, there are a whole bunch of different Docker objects that make up the Docker ecosystem, including Docker images, Docker machines, Docker volumes, Docker networks, swarms, nodes, and stacks. There are three major components that make up Docker. The first is the Docker engine. This sits on the host machine of wherever Docker is going to be used. We also have a Docker API and the Docker client. Now the Docker client is usually the command line interface. Docker containers are built from Docker images. A Docker image is built from many Docker layers and a Docker layer is defined in a Docker file as a build step. These Docker layers can be cached and be used for future Docker images and containers. We're going to be discussing Docker layers and building ourselves a Docker file later on in this course. 